A few months ago, I created my very first episode of Middle School Robotics. So I'd like to start a new short series of videos on what's happening in my robotics class. And I've tried to create a new one just about every week that we've had Middle School Robotics. Episode five. It is now the last day of school and students will be presenting on their final projects, sharing what they learned, what was meaningful to them, and what they actually ended up building. So what was most significant to me was probably um, the final project, just because we got to build our robot and design it in however we wanted to, not something built uh, for us. If we had something, like if we had iterations, we would try to fix them by ourselves and we would have time to do that. And we would learn things from before and then we would apply them to the final project and it was the base of all our knowledge, yeah. I think just the final project is being able to like battle my friends and stuff and even though I lost, it was still fun. I just feel like I learned a lot. Probably the final project, which I thought I couldn't do because it was so hard and it looked like on YouTube and stuff I was watching all these guys and like looks like they took like days and maybe weeks to build these robots. I thought me and Alex did a really good job. I was pretty uh, happy with our end result. We got to actually do whatever and build stuff that, that we're just playing fun. I think getting my final project arm robot to draw a semi straight line on the paper, that was really hard and I'm really proud of it. I thought I was just going to be able to draw like a, sm a small curve, not straight line. The first project, which was the baseball diamond, where your robot just went through each base of the baseball, because it was the first project I did, so it was really fun and exciting to learn how to program it. I just like that uh, the freedom that we get with Scratch, because like all the Cabelli people were just like, "Oh, you're playing a game," and I get to say to them, "No, I'm making a game." I really like the whole time we were programming with Scratch and like the whole progression of that. I got to make a game at the end and I didn't really know I could do that but now that I can, it's exciting. Like my case fell multiple times. I didn't have the computer and also my robot broke but I fixed it, I got good final project. Just because everything fails doesn't mean that it can't be awesome at the end. I just want to say thank you to anyone who watched any of these episodes of this middle school robotics series. It's been really helpful to me to be reflective and to kind of see what worked and what didn't. I've got a few other project ideas for next year. I'm thinking maybe some kind of robot that they get to move and create kind of legs for or get some kind of movement but without wheels. I saw that on another robotics teacher's channel and I thought it was really cool. I like the idea of having everybody do a sumo bot. Some students recommended having maybe groups of three or four work on one. I don't know what else I'm going to change. I'm going to kind of explore and see some other options. But if you have any ideas or if you teach robotics or if you have questions about teaching robotics, let me know and I'd love to hear from you. Love to connect. And thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon.